Hey, uh, today I'll be doing a small tutorial on Xcode and um, how to have multiple build targets within one project file. Uh, this is primarily used when uh, you want to build and compile a, a library and link it to an executable and for convenience sake have them share the same workspace. Okay, let's get started. For this example, I made a small skeleton project, um, something very basic, uh, just for proof of concept. The first thing uh, that you want to do is add the library target. If you note, there's just one for the executable. To add a new target, you're going to go project, new target. Uh, for this project, I'm going to be adding a static uh, library, but uh, you can add whichever you please. Uh, what are we going to call it? Let's call it foo. Be really, really original. And add to project demo. All right, uh, don't close this. Uh, you want to scroll down to the bottom, and uh, you'll note a field called GCC prefix header, third from the bottom, uh, or should be, and uh, it's got a bunch of, or well, it's got a header in there. Uh, that's uh, specific to um, Coco, and you don't need it. It's just going to cause you more headaches than anything else for now, so just get rid of that, and then close it out. The next thing you're going to do, want to do is uh, create a folder or, or group as it's called in Xcode for where you want your library code to go. Um, it, you don't need this, but I recommend it. It's, it's just easier to maintain um, in the long run. All right. Uh, you can right click this and say add existing source uh, or existing files if you, if you already have some source. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to create a new one. And I'm going to call it foo and also give me a header. Um, at the targets, you want to unselect demo and select foo so that it gets uh, compiled into the library and not the executable. And we're going to say finish. Uh, so I'm quickly going to put some header guards in. Alright, for this I'm going to do something very uh, small and generic. Let's say this, go to the source, and give the definition. Alright. Um, if you note under the targets, uh, it added the header and source for you. Um, if you just add existing source, it, I'm not sure. It, it may let you choose which, if you want to add it to the library or target, but I'm not sure. If it doesn't, um, you just click and drag the source and headers to these folders uh, if you want to add more. Uh, it's fairly easy. Um, Next step is we're going to uh, build the library. There are two ways to do it. One way is you can change the active target and then say build. Uh, or a more convenient way, uh, if you don't want to change the target every time, is to right click and say build. Um, if you go to products now, you'll see that the library has been built and executable hasn't. Um, next thing you want to do is add the library headers to executable so that the executable knows about the um, declarations of the functions within the library. And to do that it's pretty easy. Uh, you just click and drag the header to the executable compile sources uh, and that's it. Um, we're going to go back to our main project. We're going to remember to include the header and then we're going to start to test it out. All right, let's call foo, give it the reference of the number, and let's add five. Print it out again. All right. Um, 
let's build and start. All right, so there's one error. Let's see. All right, so it says that the reference is not there. That means that it's not being linked. And I forgot to open the target, and there's a tab that says Link Binary with Library. Uh, I forgot to drag this over there. So it's an easy mistake, <coughs> but um, if you know how to read uh, your your compile errors, uh, it's, it's not too bad. Let's build and start now. At build and run, if we open the debug console, we'll see that it's set to 10, and then we called foo, and it actually added the 5. Um, now, just uh, to prove that it is actually referencing the library and not the source, what I will do is change the source file to minus, save it. And then I'll go to the demo and I will build and start it again. If you note know that it's still 15. All right, so let's rebuild the library and then rebuild and start the executable code. If we look now, we'll see that it is 5. So that's uh, how you use uh, multiple build targets in Xcode. I uh, hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to send me a PM or something. Thank you, and goodbye.